Binge the full week of The Ray Taylor Show ad free over at inspireddisorder.com slash plus. This is The Ray Taylor Show. Ray's Days, episode 164. This is a weekly diary podcast hosted by moi. Ray Taylor, at the end of every episode, I like to highlight something that I'm thankful for. And this week, I am thankful for rice cookers. Uh, I got a very inexpensive rice cooker this past week for the meal prep that I'm doing. And I love rice cookers, man. It is amazing. They're like toaster ovens for rice. I mean, at least this super inexpensive one is, right? You, You put the rice in. You wash the rice. But you put the rice in. My dog is going crazy. Put the rice in, like depending on how many cups of rice you put in, there are numbers of levels inside that tell you how much water to put in. So if you put one scoop of rice in, you put up to the level of water where one is, and then you push down on the the one switch that's on the device, like a toaster, right? We push the switch down, the toast goes in the toaster, the rice cooker goes into cook mode and when it's done cooking it pops up into warm mode like the toast when it's done pops up and it keeps it keeps it warm for like i don't know however long you need it to keep warm for it's super easy it's it's so perfect i'm so glad it's easy because that means that I will use it a lot, which I love tools that I use a lot. And this is a tool that I'm going to use a lot. I like rice. I like the foods that I'm making right now that are very basic, despite the fact that they're just beans, rice, and broccoli or whatever. But, you know, you throw some soy sauce on that. You throw some spices, throw some seasoning. I'm planning on making some curry, getting into making curry. So that's going to be a fun addition to add to this kind of meal prep that I'm doing. But rice cooker is so amazing, so great. I mean, it's just such a great device. And I haven't used it to cook other things yet, which, like, you can use it for cooking beans and steaming vegetables and stuff like that. I haven't done any of that stuff yet. But just just the ease at which it, you can make rice Not that making rice in a pot on the stove isn't hard, but this you don't even have to think about. You pour the things in there, hit the button, and then you just go do your thing. You don't have to watch it. You don't have to worry about it boiling over. You don't have to go from high to to simmer it or any of that stuff. It's great. And it's going to, it helped me cut my, my grocery budget even more. So I'm spending even less money. And hopefully it will allow me to, because I'm eating these things that have a lot more fiber in them, I I don't have, I'm not craving food anymore, right? I eat in the morning, I'll eat like uh, oatmeal in the morning of oatmeal, put a little vanilla extract in there, put a little cinnamon um, and a little dash of salt, throw it in the microwave for three minutes, put some honey on top of it, bam, also a scoop of chia seeds on there eat that for breakfast i am not hungry at all for most of the day until at night and then i pull out one of these little containers of this you know beans rice and vegetable put it in the microwave heat it up eat that boom i am good i'm not hungry i'm not craving anything right so good so i don't know i'm uh you know hopeful that i will be able to lose weight as well uh and not drinking anymore really kind of helps that too because drinking gave me the munchies far more than smoking weed i'm also not smoking weed so the whole munchies thing really doesn't exist as much anymore but even still like i have a little microwave popcorn popper where it's like this microwave bowl thing you put the the uh popcorn kernels in you pour put a pour a dash of oil in there and throw it in the microwave so i don't have to buy like the bags of popcorn or whatever it's great um so that's what that's my week that's what I'm thankful for, rice cookers. I'm also thankful for the opportunity to connect with all of you through this podcast and for the chance to share my journey with you. Please join the conversation by leaving a comment or rating on your favorite podcast platform or over on youtube.com slash inspired disorder. If you're watching these, as all of the episodes are available on YouTube, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you all next Saturday for another episode of Raise days. 
New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on YouTube and everywhere our podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Out! Today is the day where you wake up and you realize that everything that you've been dreaming about, everything that you've been wanting, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.